Alright man, since I was 15, my dream was to be a content creator for video games. Of course I had goals outside of that, but content creation was at the top of my list in terms of what I would love to do for a living, hence the name Tesh and Dream. So if you're like me and have always wanted to be a content creator, here's 5 tips to help your channel grow. Let's get to it. First tip, be yourself man. A lot of content creators are afraid of who they are and feel as though others won't accept them. Here's a little secret, there is always thousands of people who like you for you don't be shy man express yourself look at five for example he just gets on the mic and does his thing he doesn't care how people feel about the way his voice sounds he doesn't care how people feel about his choice of words he just does his thing and the people who like it like myself stick around ready to see more one of the most important tools at your disposal as a content creator is your personality so make sure you use it Tip number two, have a catchphrase. Y'all probably hear me say, keep that in mind a thousand times a week, but that's my catchphrase, man. My job is to teach you, and I want you to keep all that information in mind. Make sure your catchphrase is original, pertains to your content, but most importantly, make sure your catchphrase is catchy. You want to be known for those words, so make sure you keep that in mind. Tip number three, use your mic. Contrary to popular belief, people don't care as much about sound quality as most people assume. Also, very important to note, when you use your mic, speak as if you love what you are doing. Here's a clip of how I sounded when I first started YouTube. Hey everybody, we back with another video and today we're gonna be talking about alleys. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I play PG, I love to throw me some alleys. You hear that? I sound terrible, man, but now I'm able to speak more confidently because I know confidence when speaking breeds the most success. So tip number four, rewatch your videos and view analytics religiously to see what you could have done better. This will allow you to see your mistakes and actually fix them. As I've shown you not even five minutes ago, my commentary voice used to be horrendous. As time went by, I experimented with different voices and volumes. And of course, I religiously watched those videos as well and compared them to other voices and volumes. Eventually, I reached a point where I settled with the one I'm currently using. This is only an example of fixing things you previously had problems doing, but it could be a number of things editing techniques, choice of words, amount of information, the list goes on. Whatever you see in your videos that you feel you could have done better, do it better next time. If it's still not good enough for you, keep doing better until you reach a point you're satisfied. So fifth and final tip, offer something that can't be found anywhere else. In the SBA community, my content stands out because I offer information opposed to gameplay. I also offer informative and unique takes on what I decide to talk about. If you aren't providing information and you're more of a let's play channel or even a podcast, you want to provide something that can't be found anywhere else. This pairs really well with tip number one, because if you're being you, no one else can do that. They'd have to come to you if they want that energy you put out. So all right, man, that's just about cover everything. Just make sure you keep in mind these five things are very important when trying to grow your channel. You must follow all five of these tips. Don't try to pick a few out the bunch and just use them, man. You have to use all of these tips in order for them to be the most effective. That's it. Now catch y'all on the next one.